Yo, what's going on YouTube? What's up everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for hitting play on this one today, man. Today we're checking out Social Distortion, Story of My Life. I don't know. I don't know the group Social Distortion. I don't know the song Story of My Life. Can't remember if this one was requested on the channel or if I just pulled it up off my algorithm on YouTube that things get recommended to me on. I really don't recall, uh, but it's been sitting on the, the awaiting one day list and clicked on it today man so we're gonna hear something new social distortion story of my life first time on the channel welcome social distortion man so i don't know how many people viewers on my channel will even tune into this one don't know how many of y'all might have heard this before so let's go ahead and spin it up today take a listen don't forget to like subscribe check out the description if you're here if you're here thank you for tuning in man let's go ahead and hit play and see what's up man here we go
that was a dope trip, man. That was a dope trip with social distortion story of my life. Um, didn't know what to expect going in. The only clue I had was the thumbnail, and it looked like I was gonna get like maybe a punk song. Um, had the black and white kind of greasy punker rocker look. I'm very happy I, I spun this one today, man. That was a glorious feeling. It made me think about certain bands that I listened to uh, early on in, in you know my teenage years growing up and stuff. Um, you know, I heard some Green Day, which was a big band that my brother used to spin in the morning sometimes, man, us getting ready for school. He had Green Day, one of their albums there playing. It made me think about like Blink-182, Offspring, these bands that could have possibly been inspired by this group i don't know when this group started if they were before these groups or around the same time i just know social distortion wasn't ever on my radar it wasn't a group i knew about but their sound sounds like groups i did know about uh at least in the realm okay maybe not exactly like those groups but in the realm where i can say maybe the bands i listened to then were inspired by this group um so that's number one two I really like the meaning of the song. I liked everything about the song, by the way, man. The the music, as soon as you come in, that fun guitar riff, dude, it just got you bopping. And then they're showing this imagery that's really taking me back to my teenage years. Man, I'm feeling like I'm in my teenage years when I'm listening to this. It's taking you back to a whole other time in your life. Then even the, even the band members just look like people I would have kicked it with. I had a lot of different friends when I was in uh, high school, man. You know, I, I hung out with everybody I had a little bit of everything in my life man I had the the popular uh kids I had um the country guys you know I had the the vatos right the the homies um I had the skater group that I hung out with I had the outcasts that I loved hanging out with anyway, I had dude I was just like you know I had a heart for everybody man I liked everybody's stories and you know sometimes you want to be that guy that banded groups together too and yo yo this that person isn't what you think they are they're not as bad as you think they are whether you're talking to the outcast about the popular guy or you're talking to the popular guy about uh, the stoner you know what I mean like it literally it was an interesting time in life man where I got to and I really took a lot of those those skills um I say skills whatever you want to call it social skills I don't know but I've really uh still carried that in my life man where I really try to be cool with everybody uh try my best it's not always gonna work out you know sometimes people just aren't gonna like you man um and that's okay but uh you know it just took me back to a different time and it got me thinking one of his lines about you know looking for a job and not having any education and it got me a little lump in my throat because my brother has told me more on a few occasions man um man i'm tell I, when i tell you guys some of our background man we were we were in bad spots where statistics would have told you we would have ruined our lives and we we were good for nothing we've had uh teachers tell us that at points in our lives that you know you weren't gonna amount to anything we were those kind of kids man we we came from a broken home and we wore it on ourselves and you could tell that we were kids from a broken home and we weren't you know good examples man and at some point we both turned our lives uh around at different times on our own time you know what i mean and uh he's let me know multiple times because we're in areas in life where we feel like we're we're, we're good like we hey we succeeded man we've done something good with ourselves and he'll tell me hey not not bad for a couple of like hoodlums you know what i mean we ain't doing so bad for a couple nobodies man and he he's right and it just got me thinking when he when he said that in the song i'm just like dang story of my life bro like i i get he's saying story of my life is kind of like yeah I, i'm catching all the bad luck right and i that was the story of my life for a long time and and of course sometimes we're all gonna hit get hit with some bad luck still uh but it just those lines really just man a lot of these lines just made me think about the journey of my life but that one especially man and i just loved everything about this song so i, I don't want to keep rambling on but what an amazing song what a dope group i hope there's more to check out man let's let's learn that all right man so we got story of my life right here from social distortion they do cow punk and punk rock not sure what cow punk is maybe uh okay so cow punk is a subgenre of punk rock that began in the united kingdom and southern california in the late 1970s and 1980s okay it combines punk rock or new wave with country folk and blues 
then I, I really might like some cowpunk, man. Uh, so the songwriter on this is Mike Ness. Okay, Story of My Life is a 1990 song by the American punk rock band Social Distortion written by frontman Mike Ness. It was released as a single and also appeared on their self-titled album as well as live at the Roxy Live album. The song describes a man looking back wistfully on life such as love interests he had as a teenager and how things have changed and how quickly his life and the opportunity has passed him by man dope song dope group um I, I love that i loved what i heard right now man so let's check out some about the band right here we can see mike ness is still with them so shout out good to see they've got a member called johnny two bags wickersham uh brent harding and david hidalgo okay and they're also known as social d and sxdx okay their origin is out of fullerton california u.s um their genres are punk rock cow punk hardcore punk melodic hardcore they started in 1978 and they go to present day man so if there's more from this group i i really ask you guys to let me know i'd be definitely interested in uh checking more out from them and i just hope there's a good uh good turnout man a good uh, number of people that also enjoy listening to this one because i thought this was quite the listen man it was a dope one to get into so appreciate you guys don't forget to like subscribe check out the description consider becoming a member of my youtube patreon and i'll see you guys on the next one man peace